Good morning, Donal. Um, welcome to Business Owner Spotlight interview. Uh, thanks for taking taking some time to get involved and have a chat with me. Um, go ahead, introduce yourself, uh, let everybody know what it is you do. Well, hello, everybody. My name is Donal Kelly. Uh, I live in Belfast, Northern Ireland, and I've been offering my own range of guided experiences uh, since 2016. So uh, I offer a range of walking, cycling, and step on or coach guiding. Okay, and uh, and where where bikes um, could we could we avail of those services? Don't know. Are they uh, around Belfast or a bit further afield? But yes, I'm mainly based here in Belfast, but I offer tours, for example, coach tours that go up around our beautiful north coast, um, panoramic tours of Belfast. My hometown is actually not too far from Belfast. It's uh, Antrim town on the shores of the, the beautiful Loch Ness. So sure. I actually offer tours around that area as well. It's an area I'm trying to develop with the local council with regards to the tourism offering. And um, who would be the ideal or the most common person you would deal with? You know, what's, what's your sort of target market, if you like? Well, I suppose I could nearly split it into two markets. There is a, a sort of local market, especially with regards to Antrim, because... Uh, you know, there's a lot of interest, I suppose, in, in the history of the area. It is a very historic area. But I suppose Belfast um, appeals more possibly to the, the international tourists. And that's certainly a market that uh, uh, I'm trying to develop also. We're now starting to get a lot more international visitors coming over to Belfast. And uh, I'm trying to work uh, with that as well. Um, I do a bit of work with tourism in Northern Ireland with regards to some of their farm or familiarisation trips that are bringing people uh, tourism operators from around the world over to Belfast, so I will uh, work with them and you know take them out on trips, etc., around Northern Ireland. Fantastic, and uh, uh, you know Northern Ireland has really kicked off as a tourism destination um, in the last, what would you say, five, certainly ten years. Um, and I imagine that space has become quite uh, competitive. So, what what is it that makes you unique or makes you a bit different? Right. Uh, I suppose I, I do specialise, I suppose, in a couple of areas. Um, I really got into tourism uh, through, well, I'll, I'll just give you very quickly my background. I actually worked in aerospace for seven right. years. I was made redundant. I worked for okay. an outdoor activities provider uh, just uh, about 30 miles south of Belfast in the beautiful Mourne Mountains for about six years. And that got me into sort of hospitality and, and tourism offerings. Uh, and then Titanic Belfast, which is an internationally uh, known um, for provider of uh, you know, Titanic uh, information around the world. And they opened in 2012. And I've been actually with them on a casual basis since 2012. So, uh, yeah, that, that's sort of where my sort of background is. Fantastic. And, and yeah, Titanic, I mean, it's a, it's a real sort of uh, duo on the crowd of of Belfast tourism, so brilliant to be involved involved with them. So, so yes, you've been going the last while. I suppose a good question I would I would ask is what what was the big uh, biggest impact on COVID of of what, what it is you do? Well, I suppose COVID what was devastating, I suppose, for tourism around the world. But really, one of the, the first industries to be impacted by COVID was, of course, tourism. So we mm -hmm. basically dropped off a cliff with regards visitors. You know, anybody, nobody was traveling anywhere around the world. No. So it really was devastating for, for tour guiding and indeed for tourism here in Northern Ireland. And as, as um, when you say then it dropped off a cliff, which is totally understandable, then nobody's traveling. So has that given you an opportunity to develop the local tourism market then? Yeah, well, that's, that's quite interesting because um, obviously nobody was allowed, you're allowed to move to go out and walk around your local area. Yeah, and uh, I think we found that uh, people were starting to get interested, possibly in, in local history. So myself and another tour guiding colleague actually set up a guided walk around my area of South Belfast, uh, okay. which involved uh, the local park here, Ormo Park. So that, that was something that we could do that, that was quite sort of positive. You know, people yeah. weren't traveling anywhere, but they were starting to get interested in these outdoor spaces. Uh, and that reason that did quite well, you know, certainly for the first year or so of the COVID sure. um, lockdown. So, and it's just, it's just, I mean, you know, it's a good example of, you know, just having to be agile and, you know, like if you can't do one thing, you've got to find another thing to do. Well, that, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. And also, um, I was one of the first tour guides to use a radio system 
And that okay. worked extremely well with the whole lockdown situation and, and people not wanting to get close to each other. So sure. it meant that people could distance themselves very, very well. Yeah. And actually, I, I have expanded that uh, because Belfast City Council actually offered a grant scheme. So I was able, I had 14 of these uh, receiver units, and I was able to expand that to another 20 with a right. uh, grant from Belfast City Council. Fantastic. So that's that's something you've carried, you'll continue to do then. Absolutely, Scott. That's something yeah. that I can offer. You know, you really don't want to be taking any more than about 30, 30 people around on a, walk, on a walking tour. But now I'm, I'm equipped now to deal with with basically any any walking tours that come my way. So it's Brilliant. Been quite, quite and good. If, you t- if we leave the pandemic aside, um, what, what would you say has been the biggest challenge you've had to overcome as a business owner since you got started? Um, I suppose just... Uh, I'm hitting the ground running, I suppose. You know, I had to sort of learn quite quickly. And, you know, some of the things I would probably change now, I was more sort of, uh, uh, more concerned, let's say, at the start with with sort of different um, protocols and what I thought I had to do and get licenses and things like that there that I didn't actually need. So, uh, you know, that, that, there were some of the challenges, just an experience, I suppose it could boil yeah. down to an experience. But I've learned, you know, from from talking to others also involved in the industry and joining associations. I'm now in a tour guiding association and you learn a lot, you know, from that sort of net, networking opportunity. As well. Sure. Yeah. So, so learning from other people who have, who have maybe encountered yeah. the same problems. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and what would you say then? Um, what about yourself? What have you learned about yourself since you since you started out in business? Well, I've, I've sort of learned that. Um, I can, you know, I can apply myself, you know, I, I can do things, things that, that look, you know, very, very daunting at the start, you know, once I sort of get into it and uh, apply myself, you know, so I've sort of surprised myself in a lot yeah. of it, but I, I do have a, a can do attitude, you know, and generally yeah. I will overcome obstacles, you know. So it's just, uh, you trust yourself a bit more, a bit more confidence, would you say? I've, I've developed a bit more confidence, absolutely, yeah. Which has been quite surprising, but uh, yeah, no, it's worked quite well. And um, what about um, moving forward? Then, what do you see, what do you see as uh, the future? What does it look like for you? And what do you see as the challenges moving forward? Then, well, I think the future is looking quite bright. It's only I'll be honest. Uh, since I started in two thousand and sixteen, it's really taken probably about five years to become anyway established. Sure. The tourism industry here and working as a as a tour guide. So I'm now in a position where I'm sort of known, um, yep. it's most trusted, and I'm yep. starting to, to gather up, you know, some clients, and I'm getting recurring business, yep. you know, most years now as well. So challenges, um, I suppose, are, there's more competitors coming in to the market now as well, you know, and unfortunately, because it's, uh, it's Northern Ireland, it's Belfast, uh, there is a, a political sort of angle to this as well. Currently, we don't have our, our assembly sitting so yeah we're not, we're not getting decisions made you know at a local government level and certainly i see that very much as a challenge yeah yeah, yeah i suppose uh, from from what you talked about earlier though it's around doing the, you know controlling the things that you can make an impact on and, and you know you just have to deal with with the things that are outside of your control as as everybody else yeah exactly exactly and i suppose another one would be another pandemic coming coming around as well but yeah and yeah, that's outside my control as you say yeah yeah, so keep keep the focus on, on what you can do. Um, um, I'm interested then. What if you if you were to if you were to start your business again, and you maybe touched on this, you know, around that sort of focus um, of doing things that you thought you had to do. What, what what else would you do differently if you if you started all over again? Um, I'd, I'd probably listen to to other people maybe a little bit more as well, and, mm. and not worry about the what I perceived as being important, like the bureaucracy that that I thought. Yeah was important at the time and maybe just look at other people in, in the same situation other guys who've started their own business and maybe just how, how they have uh, performed and, and what they did maybe at the start maybe network a little bit more as well in the beginning yeah. just to find out what, what is out there and how people have got again, it. You, know, it, you know it takes a bit of confidence to ask for help doesn't it yeah it does it does indeed it does indeed yeah but it's i think there's rewards there in doing that. yeah well, Donald, um, thank you so much for um, for coming on board and getting getting involved. Um, and appreciate appreciate your calendar today and and uh, sharing a bit about um, about 
you know, how you've gone on since, since the last five years in business through some pretty challenging times. So thank you for that. You're very welcome, Scott. Thank you very much for the opportunity.